Personally, I quite enjoy this option, but I've met people who aren't that fond of it. So let's move on to the second option, which is... We have a table representing some orders. We have columns like number, details, status, and so on. Let's start by making this table look really nice, and then we'll see what options we have for smaller screens. Our viewport is not even that small, and the table already looks messed up. First, let's make the table full width, and then style the head. We'll do BG Gray 50 for background, and Border B2, Border Gray 200, to have like a thick border separating the headings from the table rows. Next up, let's focus on the table headings themselves. We'll do P3 for padding, text SM, font semi-bold, tracking white to make the text more legible, and then text left. Moving on to the rows, let's make this a stripe table, so odd and even rows will have a different background color. This makes it easier to follow a particular row once you set your eyes on it. Since our table head background is gray, we'll do white for the first row, then we'll do gray, white again, and so on. Now for the cells, let's first select all the TD elements, and then do class, P3 for padding, and then text SM, text gray 700. Apart from this, I also want to style the links for the order numbers, so let's do that. I'll select all the links, and do class, font bold, text blue 500, and then on hover, we'll do underline. And here they are. Now here, this shipped status will look better as a badge, so let's wrap it within a span and do p 1.5 text excess font medium uppercase tracking wider text yellow let's say 800 bg yellow 200 and then let's round it using rounded lg and i'll actually Reduce the opacity of the background using BG opacity mm, 30, 40, okay, 50. That's better. Let's do the same for the others. So I'll copy this and I'll only change the colors. So for cancelled, we'll do instead of yellow, let's say gray. And then for delivered, we'll do a green or something. There we go. If we look at this table in a larger window, we'll see that the order number, status, date, and total take up unnecessary space. We could set some sensible widths for these columns, so let's do that. We'll go here to our headings and say width 20 for the order number, width 24 for the status and for the date, and then width 32 for the total. And here it is. Now we have more space for the details column. Before getting into the responsive part, I want to do one more thing, and that's adding borders for our rows. And we can do that by going to the table body, add class, divide Y, and then to set the color, we can use divide gray 100. Now, for mobile screens, we have two options. The first one allows the table to stretch on the horizontal axis as much as it needs, but of course, we need to do that without ruining the design. To start, we'll need to prevent the column text from wrapping. So let's select all the table columns and then add the white space, no wrap class. So now every table cell takes as much space as it needs. But if I scroll to the left, we'll see that our layout is broken. To fix this, we can wrap our table within a div. So let's do that. We'll do a div. 
and then add the overflow auto class. And to make this look even nicer, we can add rounded LG and a shadow. And now if I go in the browser and scroll, the scroll works, but our layout is no longer broken. Let's also check this on a larger screen. And here it is. Personally, I quite enjoy this option, but I've met people who aren't that fond of it. So let's move on to the second option, which is just hide the table on small screens and show a grid instead. I know this looks a bit awful as we end up with a lot of code, but if we were to use a loop in blade or view, it wouldn't look nearly as bad. So let's hide this on small screens. We'll do hidden and then on MD we'll do block. This will hide the table on small screens and show it on larger ones. Moving on, let's add our mobile only grid. We'll do div grid grid calls one gap four and hide it on MD. Now for the items, we'll have a wrapper and then one container to hold the order number. One for the date and another one for the status. We'll then have the description and the total. Now let's style these. We'll start with the wrapper. We'll do BG white B4 for padding, rounded LG, and then shadow. Now for these elements, we'll do a flex, item center, add some margin using space X2, and then text SM. For the order number, we'll have a link. And let's say text, blue, font, bold, hover, underline. Text blue 500. Okay, now for the date, we'll just say text gray 500. And for the status, I'll just copy the badge. So let's grab this one. Okay, let's also copy the description. And here I'll do text SM text gray 700. Then for the total, we'll do text SM font medium text black. Now these look a bit crammed up, so let's add some spacing between them. And we can do that by going to the wrapper and say space Y4, three. That looks better. Let's add the remaining orders and I'll just duplicate this one and replace the order number and status. For the status, we'll do shipped. And this has yellow instead of green. And then here we'll do cancelled. And then gray. And on SM, which is this one right here, this screen variant, we could display two columns instead. So we could do SM grid calls two. And this is a bit better. Let's view it in a larger browser. So this would be our mobile screen. And as it gets bigger, it will transition to two columns and then finally into a table. And that's it. That's how you can deal with tables on mobile devices. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.